So, Brian, the the two and the one-two punch uh, in the backfield uh, last year obviously included Chris Tyree, true freshman. Uh, we knew the accolades coming in. We were excited for him. And when he touched the ball, frankly, good things happened. Mm-hmm. Um, how do they get him more involved? I know that was a big topic of conversation between you and I uh, throughout the season, especially the second half of the season. Uh, but how does this team go about getting him more involved in this offense so that they're more dynamic? So, number one, let's just assume first that no, the Notre Dame coaching staff is going to make zero changes to their philosophy. So, so just for argument's sake, let's sure. say they make zero changes. Yep. That means Chris Tyree has to become a more efficient, effective player when it comes to the little things, right? That's what they say kept him off the field some this year, being okay. better as a pass blocker. Uh, for him, it seemed like he normally knew what to do in the past game, but he wasn't always effective doing it and wasn't always confident necessarily stepping into it. There were times he would, so it's not a lack of toughness per se, but more of a, okay, I, I think I have that guy. Okay, yeah, I got that guy. Let me go get him. Sure. And and that's the, the next step for him. So that'll be part of it. Uh, I think that, like, like Kyron, I think becoming more efficient with his footwork, I think at times they both got a little bit too – um, choppy at times, looking to do different things. So just sure. being more efficient with his footwork. I think at times I felt Chris Tyree got downhill a little too quickly, which can happen for freshmen, especially freshmen that run four threes, which is what Chris Tyree runs. Is hey, let's 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 develop a little bit more patience to allow this to set up and then hit the hole and explode. So uh, I think those are some areas where he can continue to clean up his game. And like Kyron, you know, decision-making wasn't always there. You being more effective, hitting the holes more consistently, uh, staying on your track more effectively, setting up blocks more effectively, just things that you expect from any young running back to sure. do, to, to enhance their game. So I think those are the things, especially the pass blocking, are going to be a big part of of it because, you know, right now Notre Dame requires you to have to know everything like a senior in order to play. Uh, So if that's not going to change, and I don't expect it to change, then Chris Tyree needs to take a little bit more work on some of those little things that a freshman needs to work on as he goes into his second year in the offense. So um, just being a more efficient running back. If he can combine efficiency with his explosiveness – uh, you're you're going to see him take off and, and uh, be a guy that there, there there can be no excuse not to play him more. And and as we'll discuss here in a little bit, that doesn't mean you necessarily play Kyron Williams less. It just means that you figure out ways to use both of them. Because if we look at the depth chart right now, Vince, this that you could argue two of the two of the three best returners from last year's team are both running backs. So how are you gonna how are you gonna be able to utilize him? But Chris Tyree has to force that, right? Yes. Like he has to say, okay, I'm pass blocking effectively. I'm catching the ball out of the backfield. I'm making good decisions. I'm I'm allowing blocks to set up. I'm hitting vertically. I'm showing. I'm doing all the things that you tell me I need to do. All right, now play me. You know, and if he can do those things on a daily basis, I have no doubt that he'll get he'll get utilize more effectively than he was this past season. And let's not act like they never played him either, right? I mean, he did he did rush sure. over 400 yards. He had, I think this year was the, the third best, maybe second best rushing total of, that, that Notre Dame freshman has had under Brian Kelly. Josh Adams obviously had the best. I, right. I would have to go back and look at Chris Tyree compared to Torian Folston in 2013. That'd be the only other freshman who could who could rival what Chris Tyree did. So it's not like he didn't play at all. It was more about boy, this kid's pretty good. Why aren't you using him more? Right. And uh, and and for people to understand that that doesn't necessarily mean not using Kyron Williams. It means you have two great players there. Let's figure out a way to use both of them. Um, and we'll find out here coming up pretty soon if the if the Notre Dame coaching staff is going to figure out a way to do that. 